We have the TDCS device connected here. It's currently two milliamps. Uh, the contact quality is very high. And now uh, I'm gonna show the connection to the box, which is the current controller box. The current, it controls the intensity of the current. Um, we have the red wire here. The red wire is connected to the um, cathode, sorry, I'm sorry, anode of the TDCS device, which is red. And the anode of the current intensity controller, which is also red. Um, black is the cathode, and the black wire is once again going to the, um, to the TDCS device with, with the cathode um, jack. And this is the input. So input is directly from the device going into the current intensity controller. Next is, um, next what we, what we wanted to do is measure the uh, current output using a multimeter. So I'll show that setup. Um, con uh, I'll show that setup with my head also, which you can see it's one is connected on the arm and the head. So I'll show that setup starting with the current intensity control. So first, the the um, anode is red, which is going directly to the um, uh, amp meter. And from that amp meter, there's another another red wire that's going to my head. And I have a black wire, which is cathode, it's on my arm. It's going into the current intensity controller cathode arm, which is, which is black, right? black right here, black wire. So it's very easy to um, know which wire goes where. And so I'm gonna show um, how the current intensity changes um, on the multimeter. And so first, what we're gonna do is start at the maximum position. And so you can see right now that the current intensity control is at the maximum point. And at the maximum point, I, sh I should be getting two milliamps as you can see from the multimeter. And uh, the reason we built this uh, device was so that there could be an external external current intensity controller that the subjects could use if they're not comfortable with the two milliamps uh, from the TDCS device. So uh, let's say that uh, someone is not comfortable, instead of instead of messing with the TDCS device, which has a lot of other buttons and uh, other things that they could mess up. Uh, we have this external intensity controller which they can play around with for themselves uh, because there's only one knob, there's nothing that the subject can mess up with. Uh, also with meditation, if someone is doing meditation while connected to the TDCS device, they can easily control the intensity of the current with their eyes closed um, from the knob. So, so in meditating, they just hold this in their hands and change the intensity. And uh, the, the good feature with this is that it has a click at from uh, maximum point to nine. You can see that there's, there, there's this clicking. Um, that clicking tells the subject that it's at the maximum point and you're going away from the maximum point or, or you're at the maximum point at, 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 at the point where um, the knob doesn't go any higher. So that's, that's one thing to let the subject know about the um, maximum position. So we're starting at the maximum position. The subject feels that uh, they're not comfortable to, with two milliamps. So now um, they're going to decrease it from the maximum point, it clicks, so they know that uh, it's active. The, uh, volt, the, the amp meter is showing uh, a 1.95 instead of two, and I'm slowly decreasing the the um, current intensity. You you can see that it's not changing much. Uh, 
it's not changing much at this point even though I'm at 5 the current intensity is not changing and I can explain and we'll, ex we'll explain that uh, in just a minute so um, I'm at point 4 and it's still not a big change at point 3 is where the action is starting now so from point 3 to minimum point from point 3 to minimum point is where all the action is going to happen and so uh, I'm going to slowly decrease again point, point 0.8 going down to point 0.7 which is uh, at, at point 2 now and point 0.6 five four three so you can see that a lot of action happened between two to one and going down uh, from one I'm at point eight now point five down to zero um, and then at the minimum point it's it's at a negative value um, so I'm going to show why that happened here from this chart. Um, the chart shows the current percentage as you uh, rotate the, the knob, the knob rotation from minimum to maximum. And, um, and you can see the color shows the current uh, percentage. And so the yellow is 9 about 90 percent and uh, the orange is between 80 to 90 and between 70 to 80 is a little bit of darker orange and 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 then after that there are uh, lower values of current so the reason it's may uh, the reason we have this uh, chart is um, there's actually uh, some shiny light on the on the screen, so it's, uh, probably is that, is that better? So, uh, so going back to the the knob and and uh, the current percent current chain, we saw that a lot of action happened between um, three and minimum. So between three and uh, minimum. A lot uh, and and to a minimum, the current intensity changed rapidly. So the reason is because the uh, the resistance of my head might be between three and four kilo ohms, and so this this shows the res resistance of the subject on the y-axis. And so at that point, um, the um, m my resistance. Uh, might be between three to four kilo ohms, and that's why the current intensity change decreased rapidly uh, from two to two to minimum. So go, from two to minimum, it went from ninety percent to zero percent. So that's the uh, that's the reason we have this chart. Um, Robin, is there anything you want to add? Any questions? No, that's good. Uh, any, anything that wasn't clear? No, it's good. Okay, so we'll end it here.